Hi everyone. Welcome to It's Your Relationship. Our show is all about helping you make good positive choices in your relationships. We do that by having both men and women share their stories so that you can gain from their pain. We also bring in a variety of professionals to share their experiences and give recommendations for the guests and for you, our audience. And don't worry, the names have been changed to protect the guilty. Actually, we realize that every story has two sides. Our purpose here is not to embarrass anyone. We only want to see your relationship blossom and grow. So, let's get started. Today we have a very special guest from Hollywood, California, uh, Nicole Sebastian. She is a modern day oracle. She's an author and uh, all around very intelligent lady. Um, Nicole, would you like to share with us some of your experiences and maybe a little bit about uh, the gentleman we just saw? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yes, most, uh, you know, in review of his relationship and the troubles that went with that, I would certainly recommend, number one, is to trust yourself. Because along the way, I would bet money on it that he received guidance inwardly. He received dreams notifying him, warning him to, uh, to go a little bit slower. You know, they, they, they became enmeshed at the front end and it pays to slow it down a bit so you can really gauge how is this relationship moving forward? What are the benefits? How do I feel about this? Not at an emotional level, but a feeling level in the solar plexus type of thing. Your gut feeling, and along the way, it, it pays in great dividends to pay attention to those gut feelings and hunches. So, it, you know, it's a sad case that one year later, you know, all this adversity has come of this relationship. But along with adversity are many lessons learned, so it's not entirely a bad thing. That's very true. Um, have you had any experiences uh, similar? or? Ooh. Oh, Why don't you share with us some of the stories yeah. you have? Oh, I'd love to. Along the way, you know, currently I'm, I'm married 12 years, and, and that's wonderful. Excellent. Yeah, and but along the way, I was a serial dater, if you will, and uh, encountered many different types of relationships. Uh, the, the ones that, oh, they're not in, in, they weren't in my best interest. In other words, there was not a compatibility in terms of a consciousness level. And... When, when two people are harmonizing, you can feel it, and you have common interests. It's really the law of affinity, and like attracts like. And people often think that opposites attract. Well, they might, but that's, that's uh, short-lived, actually. Harmony, a similar consciousness. And uh, some, some of the relationships, woo, they've been doozies. Let me tell you, from the construction worker to the drug dealer to you name it, uh, along the way. And then you kind of find out a little bit about these people, and then you back off. Mm -hmm. so, so it's good in the front end to have that communication and to pay attention to that inner gauge that's providing you with pertinent information to make better choices. Because this is your relationship, and this is your life. And what is more important? Heck, heck Absolutely. if I know. Absolutely. It's your relationship. That's what's important. You be in charge. You take charge of it. Um, especially, I, I guess you've seen situations where children become involved, and that's... Uh, oh, that's there's one right now, and it's, it's a client, and no names, certainly. But... Uh, they tend to fall in love with the child, with the kids, and the, the, the mate, the parent, is secondary. But because they have this fondness with the children involved and this heart-opening expansion that occurs with the, with the kids, that it really becomes a bit of a sticky wicket. Because you've got this going on and it feels so good. It's almost like... Um, you're having a relationship with the kids and not so much the adult and the parents there as a tag along and things can get very confusing from that perspective and there's someone I know right now in Austin, Texas, but we're gonna leave it alone and uh, and they're in that same predicament. They met someone fond of them, very fond, so much so and they have the little kid and then the, 
they actually have buddied up and the the adult is kind of left out there just a little bit mm -hmm. so uh, well uh, we're running short on time but perhaps you could share with the audience your recommendations for how they can conduct themselves uh, into in their relationships tips that maybe can help them avoid some of the landmines that the rest of us end up falling into oh. uh, if you just talk right to them tell them and here we go I've got the three step the tips for success in your relationships number one key is communication absolutely open honest communication that's where everything starts from and if you're not being honest at the front end then everything else that is built upon that is false is a lie so you have that honesty that communication at the front end coupled with patience oh do we need patience in these relationships folks patience to where you just you step back for a minute listening with love would be number three we've got communication we've got patience we have listening with love so you sit there and you wonder, well, how? How can I master these things? I'm going to give you one quick technique to do so before signing off. And it's simply the HUE technique, H-U-HUE. It's a matter of vibrations. And a quick demo, HUE, H-U-HUE. You can HUE from 1 to 20 minutes a day, out loud or silently and that will assist you in your journey of discernment. It's your relationship. Absolutely. Well, Nicole, we sure appreciate your coming today and sharing with us. It's really some good advice, and we hope that it's helped. See you next time. Well, folks, that's our show for today. We hope that these stories help you to make good choices in your lives. Remember, it's your relationship. It's your lives. Live it well. I'm your host, Lyndon Graves. We'll see you next time.